Come join me into the darkness as Star Trek gives us a first look into the new movie. I'm Hyla in Hollywood and from New York City, it's film critic Alicia Malone from MoviesAreMyJam.com, who is only one of eight journalists in the entire world allowed on set. Uh, now, Alicia, this week kicked off with J.J. Abrams teasing a three-frame clip on Conan, literally a half a second. Now this one-minute teaser trailer, which leads into a nine-minute uh, massive trailer footage that we are going to see play before The Hobbit next week. What do you think of Paramount's rollout for a movie that doesn't even come out till May of next year? Well, I think it fits with the current trend of marketing the marketing or having a trailer for a trailer. Right. It builds anticipation amongst fans, and it seems to work for movies that already have an inbuilt fan base, like uh, Prometheus or The Dark Knight Rises or Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 2. But it does leave the teaser trailers to be overly analyzed by fans. Yeah, well, fans like me, because those who know me know I am a huge trekker, as showcased in this video we made in between Justin Bieber videos. But how are my fellow Trek fans reacting? It seems to be a bit of a mixed reaction. Some people are saying on Twitter that they really like the darker tone. Some are saying it looks very familiar. It looks a little like Avengers or Inception or a bit of The Dark Knight Rises. And basically people are just trying to look at it frame by frame, desperately searching for some clues, seeking out the other trailers like the Japanese version, which seems to have a little bit more. So I think they're just excited. They want more, more, more. See, maybe you're a little trick geek too. You were watching the Japanese version just like me. Uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, he's the villain here. Is this the new hunk that the women are gonna love? Possibly, you know, he seems to be a snappy dresser. I saw some things on set, but I'm not allowed to say anything about it. I signed my life away. Sure. So just going by the trailer, it looks like he could be a good villain. People are suspecting he could be uh, Gary Mitchell, a former Starfleet member. Uh, all we know this far is that he has a, a commanding voice and a nice leather coat. We, uh, we will discuss more of this off air because I have so many more questions. But for the latest on the hottest movies coming out and the biggest stories breaking right now, stay clicked on DeCelebBuzz.com. <laughs>